गुड डे एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल मास्टर मरीना रमित सांगवान एंड अनदर डे आई सी वी हैव वी आर इन पोर्ट खालिद एंड राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ मैनोवरिंग ऑफ अ शिप ओके वी हैव सीन मैनोवरिंग्स मेनी टाइम्स बट दिस विल बी मोर क्लोजली सीन बिकॉज वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू द शिप आर शिप इज एट बर्थ एट जेटी हियर एंड दिस इज द शिप विच इज गोइंग टू गो आउट ऑफ द पोर्ट एंड राइट नाउ वी सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन that uh, we have two tugboats already alongside this uh, ship there the tugboats are there you see one there and one forward of it and then the ropes or the mooring ropes are still in place to hold the ship in place and then slowly slowly these uh, mooring ropes are going to be cast off or this mooring ropes will be released okay and these are the mooring ropes the ropes leading from the jetty uh, from the ship to the jetty and then we will see that the tugs will pull out the ship the ship will come in the basin will turn around and uh, will then uh, move out of the port we'll watch it very closely today waiting eagerly for this movement to take place in the meanwhile i'll show you the traffic around right now all the ships are at berth here so you have to move the ship very carefully this is because the other ships are also made fast to the ship with the help of the ropes if this ship moves at a fast speed the other ships ropes might break okay so let's see this action today so we see that uh, the ropes from the ship already let go cast off we don't see any ropes between the ship and the jetty now okay very soon uh, the ship will be moved away from this jetty with the help of this tugs we'll capture the entire video of this entire maneuvering so as to understand the how the ships are moved out of the port how they are moved inside the port Okay, so even the last set of ropes are remaining. I can see visually, but uh, in the video, it's not there. It's not very clear. There is slight disturbance here because of the wind. That's okay, as long as we can understand. The ship will be moved astern with the help of the tugs, and then it will be moved out of this port to this route. There you see this boy. Okay, that's a boy. That boy will be kept on the starboard side of the boat, uh, both the ship. Then you have another boy there. One is here. One is here. The ship will go between these two boys once it departs from this berth. Okay. So let's see this moment. is till the time this movement take starts we will see this ship this is basically a bulk carrier what you see on the screen msc ship with the help of the crane it is unloading cargo and there this ship is a gas carrier an lpg carrier liquefied petroleum gas right now it is also discharging cargo there these are two small uh, container ships loading unloading uh, containers and behind we have the city so that's the view of the city that's uh, sharjah city actually very close to dubai see the high rise buildings there in the background the crane what you have here on the screen right now is called as a gantry crane it is used for loading and unloading containers from the ships so this crane is called as a gantry crane we have one here another one there those are normal cranes what you see <coughs> okay it looks uh, like a small port but there are plenty of ships in here the 
last set of ropes is remaining which will which we will uh, which will be cast off soon and the ship will start moving after that that's a another small tugboat going for some other duty See how calm the sea is here. Very neat and clean. No pollution. You can go for a swim, although it is not allowed swimming inside this here in the port. Okay. So there we see the tug has started pulling the ship out. It is made fast with the help of the rope. You will be able to see the rope. With the help of this rope, this tug will pull out the ship. Then the ship will give. A stern movement that is it is going to go reverse reverse movement and then it will turn around okay so the ship has finally started moving away if you see the forward part of the ship is it is already out already pulled out by the forward tug Slowly, slowly, it is moving out of the jetty. Just like we have uh, platforms for trains, we have uh, jetties here for uh, ships. see the propeller wash there that means the propeller started moving it has most likely it has given stern propulsion stern movement so that what you see under the bottom of the ship is the rudder and the propeller is moving now because of which it is churning water and you can see the water there because of the churning of the propeller see other ships which are there at anchor waiting to come in the port so that's one ship what you see there are other ships also but uh, they're not coming in the camera but there are plenty ships you see those these are far away these are about 10 kilometers from here you cannot uh, see them clearly but they're there okay such a large ship it takes time sometimes when we are watching the video we feel bored as if uh, it's going very slow but that's how it is supposed to be done because you cannot control a ship uh, in a manner you can control a car or a truck okay you have to handle it very carefully plus uh, the maneuvering or the maneuvering capability of the ship is also restricted when it is in the port you cannot just turn around the ship to port or to starboard it may hit onto something so this movement has to be uh, really very slow okay so as to
keep the vessel under control okay it will be turned around uh, slowly gradually in the moment there is another movement uh, which is going to take place which is here this small uh, container ship will be moved out but since it is a small uh, ship it will be moved out to out uh, with the help of a single small tug but if you have a ship like this which is large that cannot be controlled with the help of one tug you need to have two tugs okay okay slowly slowly it is moving out it is already out of the jetty now and there in the meantime we are going to see the loading of the containers onto this ship how containers are being loaded so the gantry has started operating you see it is moving we'll pick up a container from the jetty side and then we'll uh, load that container container onto that small ship it's a very small ship i have never got an opportunity to sail on such a small ship so i've already always worked on uh, big tankers chemical tankers product tankers suez max tankers and vlccs very large crude carriers never got an opportunity to work on containers and uh, small ships okay so you see that gantry the grab has picked up a container and it is going to put that container inside the hold of that ship so here it comes and it is going to be lowered inside this uh, hold so here it goes down there is a person sitting in that uh, glass cabin what you see from there he can monitor the entire movement of the container he is basically controlling the entire operation of this uh, gantry crane it uh, requires a lot of expertise to operate this gantry crane it's not like anybody can operate this crane nothing like that okay so the container is already inside and the grab is going to move out of the hold now okay, that's how the container loading takes place whether it is a big or a small ship and there is our ship which is uh, moving right now slow movement little bit boring okay i didn't want this video to be of such big length 3 5 minutes is sufficient but the movement is very slow so that is why the video is getting extended but just imagine when we are thinking that uh, it is moving very slowly and when we actually do it there then how boring would it be but uh, when i tell you frankly about it it's not at all boring because you don't know about time and this moment is taking place everybody is under tension but the ship should move out safely it should not go into the jetty nothing should be harmed the ship has to be moved out uh, very safely so that's why the movements of the ships are very slow this movement takes place the traffic control called as the vts vessel traffic control that time uh, it holds the movement of other ships in the port because if two ships at the same time they come in the port then it's not very safe both of them may not be controlled properly might hit on to each other so if you see right now there is no other ship coming inside the port because of this movement Okay, that's the entrance to the port. The two boys there. First, this ship will be moved out, and once it, once it gets clear of the entrance of the port, then only the next ship will be allowed to enter inside. So you see how developed this country is. This is the sewage water, which is coming from the city into the sea. But it's so clean, it's treated. It doesn't seem to be like sewage water. that's how that how clean it is i went there in said uh, during in the morning and i saw that it is really very clean when i was going out from there i had to go out for some work and that time i saw it it is very clean this water okay this is a pretty 
small moment of uh, slow moment of the ship which is taking place i think instead of going out of the port uh, the ship is getting shifted okay yeah that's right the ship is going back alongside the jetty so looks like the ship is going to get shifted from aft of the jetty it is going slightly to the forward but anyways we got an opportunity to capture this video it's great to understand how the ship's movements takes place so maybe about 50 100 meters the ship is uh, being uh, shifted ahead anyways so after this the tugs are just going to the push the ship alongside the jetty and the ropes will then be made fast if anything take place i'll uh, continue this video otherwise thanks for watching this video gentlemen i hope uh, you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel master marina amit sangwan thank you